What? How do you how do you get the mindset back after a game like that on Saturday, to heading into a rivalry game? Yeah, you got to you know make a decision, and you got to almost do something to say, okay, now it's over and we're moving forward. And so, um, <clears throat> you know, you got to get the guys together. Uh, you got to do it yourself mentally and uh, say, okay, you know, we have to accept what just happened and. Uh, and I'll be done with it because we can't do anything about it now and, and move forward. Is that is that a hard thing to balance that? Hey, we need to learn from it, but you also need to flush it and move on? Uh, yes or is and that no. kind of football? Y yes and no. I mean, obviously you want to learn from it, but I think that uh, now it is, is not the time. You know, we know what, what we have going this week, and, uh, you know, we'll learn from that. You know, later on, and, and we'll, we'll remember that throughout our careers, you know, all of us, and, and learn the lesson that we needed to from that. But now it's time to flush it and be done with it and move forward with what the task at hand this week. Uh, you know, for me as a quarterback, I can't go out there and, you know, be incredibly physical. That's just the nature of, of the position. Uh, you can do that on Saturdays in different ways, but you know, in practice, you're wearing a different color jersey. You can't go out there and smoke somebody. You know, <laughs> so um, you know, it, it's vocally and getting everybody going and, and getting the mindset right at practice and, and doing my part to raise the intensity of practice. And so um, that's what I plan on doing, and and that's what you know, we need to do. You played in big rivalry games before. Uh, your thoughts about, I guess, your excitement level about playing in this one. Uh, extremely excited. You know, I know uh, the importance of this game and and uh, you know how much this means to obviously us uh, that are in it, but also the people that uh, have grown up around it. And so, um, you know, I understand that, and I you know understand that's a, a big responsibility. And uh, you know, I'm excited to to play my part in it and do everything I can for us to you know come home with a win. Yeah. Sorry. Go ahead, Jeff. Just guys, the challenge of playing against a, a really high level defense. Absolutely. You know, uh, their defense is, is very talented. They got good players, and obviously they're coached well. Um, you know, watch we'll put a good plan together, and uh, us as players got to do our best to perfect that plan throughout the week and, and put a good week of practice together, and then go out and execute on Saturday. So, uh, you know, like you said, they're a very good defense uh, statistically, and then on film as well, and so. Um, got to play well. Peyton, do you remember seeing the kick six for the first time and your reaction to it? I do. I, I don't remember exactly where I was, but I remember you know seeing it. And I remember the call. Obviously, it's a legendary call. It's a legendary play in college football history, let alone Auburn history. So I, I do remember it. Um, I remember thinking, holy cow, I can't believe that just happened. And um, you know, obviously, it, that sticks with you. You, know, you, you see that, and uh, you're not going to forget it. Peyton, you were one of those guys on Saturday trying to get the run game going. Going up against Alabama, too, what is it going to take for you to maybe get some of those perimeter runs and have those quarterback runs as well? You know, we'll have to look back uh, early in the season against uh, some of the other defenses that we played, and uh, I'm sure that our coaches are doing that and, and then, you know, formatting that for the defense that we're going to see this week uh, schematically and then also, you know, athlete-wise and what we think we can get going. So, um, you know, I trust our coaches on that, and then when I get the game plan, you know, I'll take a look at that and, and know where my eyes need to be and, and know what I need to do to – to get us positive yards. Hey, from pass rushers like Dallas Turner and Chris Braswell, is there a coaching point to make sure that you get rid of the ball even earlier than you typically do, considering they have such a talented pass rush? Yeah, you know, every week you want to get get rid of the ball, um, usually in a, in a timely fashion. You know, some of the greatest quarterbacks ever, that was one of their biggest strengths, is getting the ball in their hand. You know, it's tough um, as a defensive player when you're trying to get pass rush. I think, uh, you know, I mentioned Tom Brady, I think, last week, but I just remember watching. TV and people talking about how quickly Tom Brady gets the ball out of his hands. And I know there's other really good quarterbacks that do that as well. And uh, it's tough to get to a quarterback if he doesn't have the ball. You know, you can't you can't do anything about that. So um, that will be, uh, I'm sure, a point of emphasis this week. And, and just, you know, based on what we're running and, and, and what plays that uh, are being called. And, and just for me, executing quickly and, and going through my process efficiently and quickly, but not skipping over anything. You know, there's a, there's a balance to that too. How vital is it to stay on schedule with that end, knowing that you need, avoiding those third and longs like like they crept back in on Saturday? Yeah, absolutely. You know, you, you always want to stay on schedule. You always want to be uh, efficient on first down and, and put yourself in third and manageable. You know, the best third down teams in the country are probably the ones that are facing the shortest distance on third down as well. So that goes back to first and second down. Um, 
So that'll be a, a point of emphasis, I'm sure, this week. And uh, you don't want to ever give a defense an advantage by being able to pin their ears back and, and you know fly upfield, especially when you got good pass rushers like like they do. And so uh, I'm sure that'll be a something that we focus on this week. Do you, you talk to any of the older guys on this team that, that were around when Kevin Steele was here to kind of pick their brain about maybe his defense and kind of what he likes to do? Uh, yeah, I'm sure that uh, we'll get into that, you know, today and tomorrow and uh, later on this week and talking to those guys about you know, what they remember, what they've seen, and then also just going and looking back on, on the film. You know, for me, I'll be focused on, you know, what they've done this year, obviously, and, and the players that they have this year in terms of scouting, you know, who they have and, and, and what they do. But, uh, yeah, I'm sure that'll be an element of that. With Alabama's offense looking like they are, how much pressure is it that you guys are able to generate points considering you guys only got in the end zone once last week? You know, every week you want to play complimentary football. And, um, you know, our defense has played well this entire season. Uh, and so um, when we had the ball, we just need to make the most of it when we have it, you know. And, uh put ourselves in, in good situations to go down the field and score. And, and even those times that we don't score, you know, move the ball and do our best to flip the field if we can and, uh, you know, help our defense out however we can. And like they've helped us out, you know, pretty much the entire year. Team, team, uh, your, your, your uh, right foot when he, when he came in. How are you feeling, kind of what happened there? Yeah, you know, I'm not, I'm not gonna talk about injuries or anything like that, you know. Um, but you know, I'm feeling alright. <laughs> with, with this fan base and this stadium, when it comes to this game, it's a great equalizer. Um, considering the fans left Saturday with a dirty taste in the mouth, as they head back in there Saturday, what do you expect the environment to be like, and how much do you feel like that I can play a role to help you guys win this football game? Absolutely. You know, I feel like we have one of the best home field advantages in the country, and our fans have been awesome all season. And uh, I'm sure that they'll be out in full support and, and full volume this week as well. So, um, you know, I expect them to show up in, uh, like I said, full support and, and ready to go. And uh, I'm sure that's what they're planning on doing.